what's going on guys it's Jake back again with another video this one's just gonna be a quick one showing how I get a beat from finished onto YouTube so I'm gonna edit it using iMovie so first of all this is how you bounce the beat so go on Logic Pro I'll just play it for a second I'll just play a bit of the draw So you get an idea of the beat. It's like a little baby slash kind of type beat. So what you do, you first of all arrange the beat how you want it. So once you got this is for when you got the beat all finished, all arranged, everything like that. So what you're gonna do is go on to this loop function, and so click that button there, loop, and drag it from the very start all the way to where your beat ends. So my beat ends there, and I've also automated it, so the volume goes down by using EQ, I did that, but you can automate the volume by going here, and I'll do another video about automation, it's a separate topic, but that helps it fade out better. But anyway, just fit, put the uh, loop where your beat ends, and then when you've got this, do file, bounce, project or section, and then you choose what format you want to bounce it in. To bounce in MP3, you click here, and then just bounce like so, pressing OK. But I'm actually going to bounce this in WAV. So you go on PCM and then make sure it's on WAV there. And then press OK. And then you call it what you want. This one's called Firing Class because I started making it in my music college. So And it tells you where you want to bounce it to. So desktop. I'm going to press Bounce here. And then as you can see, it's all bouncing. And then the MP3 file should now come up on my computer when it's finished and now I'm going to take you through the editing process of how I actually upload it to YouTube as well so that is bounced there so as you can see it should be somewhere here so firing class here it is as a WAV so you can just play it just to see it's working now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I edit my iMovie, I put it on iMovie and put it on YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is find some artwork of Lil Gunna, <laughs> Lil Gunna, so of Lil Baby and Gunna. It's a Lil Baby and Gunna type beat, so I'll go in here. Lil Baby Gunna artwork. I'm just gonna type in this. And I'll find some or hopefully find out some that someone hasn't used on a beat. Sometimes you can oh the computer's got all kinds of messed up viruses. Sometimes you can just find uh like fan art and that's a good one because it hasn't been used as a beat but like see this one this one might work I think that's a good picture because it's a uh, horizontal so what I'm gonna do is right click and do save save image and I'm just gonna save it like that and then it should come up somewhere here it is so now I'll go into iMovie open up iMovie Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Some my computer's a bit messed up. There we go. And you're gonna go on to just wait for this to all load up. There are all my old beats. You're gonna go onto library, go new, movie, and then no theme, create. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just simply gonna drag this picture into my iMovie here. And then I am going to drag the WAV file straight into the music below. It's that simple. Now you have to make sure it matches up to the screen. So that's filled the screen perfectly. So I'll zoom out here a bit. And drag this out. So make sure the picture is the same length as the video. And so here you can see it. If you do full screen, this is what a user is going to see on YouTube. So it's a picture of Lil Baby and Gunner. If you want, you can add text by, by going on titles and inserting one or any other way uh, using an external app. But to save time, I'm not going to do that for the purpose of the video. 
So this is Lil Baby going to type beat. That's all you have to do there. So I'm just going to click share. Shares the theatre. And now it's loading into the theatre. So once that's done, that can upload to YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to YouTube now and talk you through the uploading process, which is quite simple. Again, this is just for people who don't haven't uploaded a YouTube beat before maybe. So and don't know how to edit it, don't know how to get it all from the project into YouTube. So here you go, click the upload button, which is there. And then you do select files to upload. So what you do, when this is finished, you can drag it into there. Sometimes it lets you drag it a bit earlier, but it's going to have to uh, wait a bit. But yeah, what what you do is, I might end this video here because so I don't have to save waiting but basically all you do once this video once this is finished loading here you simply drag it up drag it into there and then literally write in your description write in your title do your tags and then that's basically it and then that's how you've uploaded a video so once it let me just see sometimes it lets you drag it in before it's finished but it's not it's not letting me so otherwise I'll just finish this video yeah, so all you do after this step is literally drag it into there. Then the YouTube screen will come up where you put in the video name, the video title. That's the same thing. The video title, the description, the tags, all that. And yeah, you choose your thumbnail, which is obviously going to be the same thing. So that's basically it, really. There's not that much to it. So bouncy beat, put it in iMovie, find a picture. And yeah, that's how you upload a beat on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. I'm on 1K at the moment, so I'm looking to grow the channel. Just got my adverts on, so hopefully make a little bit of money. But all your support, any likes, comments, feedback, what you want to see next is greatly appreciated. I'm going to try and do more tutorials now. So stay tuned for like more music-related tutorials on beats and making music maybe a few little more computery stuff like this one but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was useful to you if you uh, didn't know how to do this so thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video